In a world where sorcerers rule supreme, they rule over the commoners without magic. And one of them, a very ambitious young magician, has just done something that she shouldn't have. Hello, fellow bookquesters! It is I, Aaron the Bookquester. Today I have this awesome, epic fantasy book for you guys today. The Bartimaeus Trilogy, Book 1, The Amulet of Samarkand by Jonathan Stroud. So I actually read this back in third grade, but I forgot I didn't, I didn't own this channel at that point of time, so I couldn't upload it and review it. So, yeah, I'm here to do that. And this book is about a boy named Nathaniel, who is a very ambitious young boy who is getting trained by his master named Underwood. But he is kind of smart. So what he does is that he goes way ahead than what he's supposed to be right at right now. When he's supposed to be not even summoning stuff, he's summoning stuff. And he's definitely more smarter and powerful than his master. And he reads, reads books that he isn't even supposed to understand at his young age. And he summons Bartimaeus and the genie and who is a quite high level of a demon. And what he, why he does that? He does this to gain revenge against Lovelace. Simon Lovelace who had wronged him a couple years ago. And that is why he decided to steal Lovelace's greatest treasure, the Amulet of Samarkand. And he uses Bartimaeus to do this. And Bartimaeus, the good the genie as he is, uses all sorts of shenanigans and manage, manages to steal the Amulet. And this angers Simon greatly, because Lovelace isn't a normal magician. He is planning a rebellion against the Prime Minister, who is the strongest magician there is. And when he rebels, many will die. And meanwhile, Nathaniel has made a grave mistake. Simon Lovelace has his own demons and the genies, and he has managed to track Bartimaeus back to his home and to his master. Simon kills off Mrs. and Mr. Underwood, his master, and who has he been living for a couple years, and gosh, everyone's dead, and Bartimaeus barely manages to fish Nathaniel out of the, out of the grave danger. Of course, by then, Nathaniel has a new name, John Mandrake. Magicians have get a fully fledged name when they re reach the age of 13 or I'm, or something like that. So that the demons can't know their real name, therefore have no control over them. And so with Bartimaeus, Nathaniel devises a plan to stop Simon Lovelace. He had already had Bartimaeus spy on Simon Lovelace, and he knows his plan. Can they stop Simon Lovelace's dastardly plan? Well, that's for me to know and you to find out. A great book, a true fantasy, I can tell why I enjoyed it in third grade. Because I enjoy it right now. And like always, your bookquester, Aaron the Bookquester. Have a fantastic day, read a book if you can. It is summer vacation after all.